Hello and welcome back to another Dream Spotlight. In today's video we will be taking a look at Sammy Seal, the Sky High Potato Murder. Take on the role of the infamous detective Sammy Seal as he bungles his way to the case's conclusion. Features multiple endings and harrowing action scenes to keep you guessing what will happen next. I absolutely loved this dream. It was a little different from most of the dreams that I normally get to play. This one had a deep emphasis in story, which is one of my favourite things to be honest. And in dreams, you do occasionally come across games that have a, a more of an emphasis uh, on narrative, but it's rare that you get a full game that's really dedicated to it. And that's what I really liked about this. Although the first thing you will probably notice about the game are the visuals, and the visuals are absolutely fantastic. They are, it's almost like cell shaded, I guess. Um, so you've got all the characters and environments, and they all have like the black outline all around them, and it actually adds a lot of really nice depth to them. And it, it's sort of similar for, if you've ever played the Telltale games, not just um, graphically, but also gameplay wise, they're very similar. So basically, the if you've ever played a Telltale game before, it is a very strong narrative kind of game. Uh, you get to investigate the environments, you get to talk to people, question them, and there's some interactive elements throughout, some action scenes and some choices that you can make that can influence how the rest of the, the game or the story ends up really. And that's what you really get with this Sammy Seal game. So. It's a bit of a comedy, so you've got um, obviously Sammy Seal and his uh, his partner, uh, and they're investigating a murder. And basically, what you have to do is you have to go around and talk to each of the each of the the people in in the building to see if anyone was a witness. Uh, you know what what they were doing on the night of the murder. Uh, you can go around with a little magnifying glass and try to find little clues here and there which will ultimately help you figure out what exactly what exactly happened. You can talk to lots of different people and find out, like I said, what they were doing the night before, find out who they are, uh, and that's one of my favourite elements of it actually, just like getting to talk to people. Not everyone likes that kind of gameplay where you're, you know, you're not really like jumping around and shooting and actioning your way through through the game you're it's more of a slow pace kind of game where you're just sort of like talking to people doing different dialogue choices and, and just really getting to know each character uh, on a higher level i really enjoy that i, I enjoy games like mass effect Deus Ex, uh you know these games where you you do have like these slow periods where you get to to talk to people and um i'm also i also love the telltale games as i as i was talking about them before and yeah, so if you love the Telltale games, you get to talk to people, investigate, and like I said, the graphics were really, really cool. It's actually inspired me to maybe try and make some kind of uh, self shaded game, because the art style, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. You could almost not realise that it's dreams, because it is so different in style to the, the sort of default scenes that we get to see from, from people. And the voice acting was was great. I thought it was really, really well done. And I was surprised it was the, the creator of the game, uh, Jimmy Cultist. I think he did pretty much all the voices, bar a few female voices. But they were, they were all really well done. It is a bit of a comedy. It's not, like, hilarious, but it is kind of, like, silly, a bit stupid. Uh, the main character, especially. You wonder, how can this seal be such a successful detective when he... He seems like a bit of a moron, to be honest, a bit of a silly kind of moron. But as you piece together the clues, as you talk to people, you, you find some inconsistencies in some of their dialogues. So maybe they weren't doing what they said they were doing. Uh, and so you can quiz them on these things. So you, you go back and you talk to people again after you find new information or new clues and trying to sort of dig deeper into the, the investigation. So it gives it a bit more, a bit more depth because there's not a lot to the game. Uh, you're basically just this, this building. There's a, some corridors. There's a few different rooms. 
um, filled with all the characters and, and the clues. So it's not like a really expansive dream, but what it does well is that it utilizes the environments and the characters so that you can get like a lot of sort of rich gameplay from it. So it took me about, I think it was between 30, 40 minutes to complete, which is a decent length. I'd say it's a pretty decent length. It would be nice to see a, a sequel or a series of um, additional episodes to play through. I think it's got a lot of potential and I would definitely like to see more of this kind of game being made in Dreams, uh, mainly for, for me just because, like I said, I, I love story, I love um, dialogue and getting to know characters. So whilst I love gameplay, obviously, I also love um, all the other aspects that go into, into the, the storytelling and, and the lore of, of games. And you know, when you, when you think about dreams, it's, it's difficult to get gameplay working quite well. So if you want to make an action game or a shooter or whatever, it's not so simple. It can take a lot of time to get right. Whereas a game like this, it's actually pretty easy. Like I think anyone could make something like this because you're just running around the character and you're just doing simple key commands to talk to people, choose different um, bits of dialogue, and you just sort of like string together all of the different events. So I feel like it's a very easy kind of game for people to make. So if you love to make games with story, but you're not quite there skill level wise with your uh, gameplay design, you can definitely try and make a, a game like this. Um, just write out a script, just try and create some characters, environments, and just piece it all together, almost like a, like a 3D comic book, you could say. But I feel like it's a very good way to, to get into to making in dreams without putting so much pressure on yourself to make um, lots of um, complex gameplay. If you've ever played, I've, I've featured it on the channel um, quite a few times. There's a, a dream called Cyber Spy by Small Who Man, and he basically makes the same style of game where there's not really much action. Uh, you're basically just running around, talking to people, investigating, and there's some comedy moments. So I feel like it's it's quite it's kind of similar, a little bit different. I don't think you have lots of dialogue options, but it's the same idea, the same style of game. Um, but there, yeah, that's something I would really like to see more of in Dreams. So definitely check it out. It's called Sammy Seal: The Sky High Potato Murder. I was really impressed by it. I hope I get to see a sequel and other styles of um, of game like this in dreams for the future. As for me, I don't know if I'll have time to make something like this because I'm currently working on my survival horror game and a few little RPGs here and there, but I'll, I'll definitely dabble with this art style. I think it's um, it, it looks great and it's definitely something I want to try out. So I don't know if I'll make a game like this, but I'll definitely try and uh, build an art style like that so yeah check out Sammy Seal by Jimmy Cultist and I'll see you guys in the next Dream Spotlight. If you are new to the channel you can subscribe down below. If you'd also like to support us further you can check out our channel memberships by clicking the join button. We have a Patreon page and a Teespring store if you'd like to get your hands on some merch. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next LBA video.